So the question for us today is, are we involved in what God is doing in the world today? Or are we doing nothing and unconcerned while the world grows darker and darker? being shining light because of a faulty focus. They focus their lives on things that are not really important. They focus on fame or they focus on fortune. They focus on themselves and their own personal happiness and fulfillment. They focus on becoming their own God with the freedom to do whatever they want and the ability to dominate others. Some people are not shining their lights because of feeble faith. They don't really believe that God means what he says in his word. And they don't think, therefore, that God is worthy of having control of their lives. They don't really believe that they were created to serve him. They don't really believe that God will do what he says he will do. How many more opportunities will be lost today because we are not willing to go? He says in Matthew 5 for us to let our light shine so that people can see our good deeds and glorify the Father in heaven. But in spite of what God desires and what God tells us to do, we hide our lights under a bushel basket composed of fear and faulty focus in a feeble faith. So often we Christians are a fearful people. We fear the unknown. We fear suffering. We fear failure. We fear people. And because of all of these fears, we don't let our light shine. light in a dark world? Are you using your blessings for the accomplishment of God's mission? If not, why not? Is it because of fear? Is it because of a feeble faith? Is it because of a faulty focus? We all want to be blessed by God, don't we? But we don't want to be a part of what God is doing. We want the blessing, but we don't want to struggle. church look back at us years from now and say they were not concerned about being light in a dark world we are the ones that represent God on this earth we are the body of Christ today and it is through us that he has chosen to respond with compassion to the wandering sheep of the world today. So how is it with you today? 